This is a time of great opening where the heart is concerned. A quickening has been occurring in this area and it has brought all sorts of fire to the surface, not just the growth of love has been the experience for you. It has also been the experience of the fire of anger. For anger and love are so closely linked. <laughs> it is not that they are the same, but they both possess the same strength of fire. They can both move through you in the same way. And where anger is held, where anger is not released, the growth of love is encumbered sometimes beautifully so, so that you can see the detail of an aspect of your life you had not, so that you can have an experience that you need to have in order to be able to expand. And anger is a planetary healing right now. The reason we are discussing it is you are a member of this planet, you are connected to every energy that is here, and you, in your quest for greater love and greater peace, need to have the facility to release any density that would keep you down. Now, so many of you, it is not in your nature to get angry. You do not see that as a good thing. You do not see that as promoting peace. That is why releasing any anger you have collected is so important. For otherwise you will be carrying the bags of others, as it were. Many are not allowed to process anger. That is the belief. Anger is so judged and feared and seen as this destructive force. Anger is an internal energy. It has become externalized, yes. You only need to look at wars to see this. You only need to look at physical fights and violence to see this. But that was not where anger originated. That is anger that has not been released. That is anger that is exploding. If you feel anger in your belly, the fire of your belly, if you feel anger inside you at any time, at any point, do not fear it or push it down or judge it or question how will I get rid of this. Just move it up through you. And you may need to do this many times. But just allow yourself to do it, for it is so part of your growth. The release of anger will expand your heart faster than you could possibly believe. Fire and anger are interesting words. They tend to, as Zayadora mentions, incite fear, judgment, concern in many people. So one of the areas of concern that many people will have around this idea of anger is that it isn't a high vibration or that anger will be causing you to be destructive in yourself. The truth is that for many of you listening, many sensitives, empaths, spiritually open uh, people, that anger will have probably at some point in your life been suppressed or ingested. So sensitives are very sensitive to externalized anger, externalized judgment, and many of you may have had to work backwards from everything you absorbed in childhood or even in adulthood. One of the things that the fire process can do for you, and this invitation from Zayadora to find your own fire and allow your own fire, is it not only releases everything that you may have ingested which is not yours, but it also allows you to claim your space on earth. But what I've noticed is that when I match someone else's fire with my own, this pattern of feeling abused or victimized or by someone else's anger or behavior goes away. Now that might sound very good to arrive at to those of you listening wondering how you arrive there, but it's not so much just focusing on how to deal with someone's attack that gets you there. It's more about finding your fire in life in all areas. Because then, like the parent protecting the cub or the child, if you and your life force come under threat, you respond very naturally and intuitively to that threat by meeting it with a barrier. 
So ask yourself, what brings you fire or passion in your body? Do you love to create? Do you love to dance? Do you love to be physical? All of these things are therefore incredibly important to you and they should be something that you're doing as much as possible on a daily basis because they will bring you balance. And the more you allow this fire to move through your body through activity, what will then happen is you will get used to a certain level of it. So dealing with others will not be a problem at all. You will find that it will be natural to you to want to protect and defend your energy space because you'll be enjoying it so much and you'll be having such a good time in your own experience of being you that if someone else tries to come and limit, suppress or attack you, you simply won't be able to accept their invitation to do this. You will rise in your own fire to meet them.